Friday, August 16th marked the first Helpers Coming Together event held at the Knights of Columbus. We're having a Helpers Coming Together uh, Mental Health and Addictions Resource Fair for community members to attend and also for other organizations to network. We want to encourage everybody to come and, you know, not just to, for adults or people in recovery or addiction to attend. We want um, everybody to see what our community goes through. We want children to know all this, you know, that this is going on in our community so that they can have an understanding for as they get older. We have a naloxone demonstration. So for people that don't know what nalo naloxone is, it's, um, it's a medication to reverse the effects of an opioid overdose. So a lot of people are taking prescription medications prescribed by a doctor. Some people are getting them illegally off the streets because they're already addicted. You know, just knowing that everybody is coming from a different place and that not one mode of treatment is good for each person. And that we have so many options available to our people for treatment, you know. So some people might want to go the traditional route. Some people might want to go with Western medicine. And knowing that, you know, we have so many options. Uh, we're here representing Gamblers Anonymous. And I'm, I'm really thrilled to have the opportunity to be here with you guys because, I mean, the gambling is just growing and growing. It's ever, ever more present. And uh, from what we've heard of the people, there's not much support as far as, uh, you know, help with the gambling addictions. So uh, I'm, I'm totally thrilled. A great turnout. It's a, it's a great crowd, a lot of good energy. It's really a good place to be. I approached KSES and asked them to help me to do this. I had a, a plan of how, how things would run. And they agreed and they jumped on board and a lot of the staff really got involved and start giving a lot of their own ideas and we brought together over 40 organizations, over 40 different services that are on different receiving ends of mental health and addiction. So we have detoxes, rehabs, support groups, counseling services, uh, information on family programs. Uh, and we even have elders and knowledge keepers because they're also our way of seeking out help and guidance. There are five different uh, objectives that we have set. Uh, one of them being learning how to access rehabs, detox, counseling services, support groups. So uh, learning how to access them for yourself or for your family. Uh, another one is to increase the general knowledge and awareness in the community. So to help to break some stigmas and biases. And it's also to uh, learn about what the gaps are. And we face our own uh, challenges, especially being a Ganyakehaga community in the middle of Quebec. So what are those, certifying our workers, stuff like that. The goal of this is to have it every two years to really put that time aside and to hold this space for us to come together. It came out really awesome, so I'm very happy.